you know, maybe this is actually a good investment. You know, screw GameStop and their crazy stock price right now. Time to invest in the true stonks. Gembird. Yes. Oh, I've got a big one! Hey guys, Jimmy here, and welcome back to another video. Now, you guys might remember the glorious T-Racer, or T-Racer Chan, as she became to be known. The £17 wheel that I bought off Amazon, which at the time was the cheapest new wheel you could buy. And whilst admittedly, uh, it, it weren't great, it weren't it, it seems to have gained some sort of cult following on the channel for reasons that remain unknown to me. But the unfortunate reason why I can't use that wheel more is I have nowhere really to mount it in here. I can only really use it up in the house, and the internet up there doesn't really work, so making stuff of it is difficult. It's just a whole ordeal, and I sort of just gave up on using it. But this is where the subject of today's video comes in, because it doesn't need mounting. Now, you guys surely expect by now, as a sim racing chat, I'm always on the market to try and find better equipment to make my videos better, make my streams better. And, you know, really, I'm, I'm getting bored of this DD1 now. It's not quite the level of quality that I need from my sim racing gear. So let's get rid of that. And bring in the new sim racing hardware contender. The Gembird. USB motion sensor racing wheel. And the only reason that I'm allowed to use this is because, as you can see, it's for true gamers. If you're not a true gamer, please turn this video off. This wheel is not for you. No, don't go, I'm sorry. Please stay. <laughs> so I would recommend this bad boy by One Piece In on Twitter, um, who I think linked it to me, not really expecting me to do anything. And then I immediately went, saw how much it was. This was also 17 pounds. It seems 17 pounds is like the cursed price for a racing wheel on Amazon. And I literally went and I bought the last one. So this here now, very rare. You know, maybe this is actually a good investment. You know, screw GameStop and their crazy stock price right now. Time to invest in the true stocks. Gembird. Jimmy, what the hell is this? I hear you asking, which is fair enough. So this is a USB motion sensor racing wheel. So think of the Wii Remote steering wheel. It's basically one of these that you can plug into your PC and then use with, and I quote, all racing games that support steering wheel input. So I've not actually opened this up yet, so we're going to experience the wonder of the gem birds together. Da 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 da! Oh, what was that? Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy because it has the gem bird cod liver oil seal of approval right there. Oh wait, no! I've just realised that's the uh, that's the sender bit. It's come off already. I've not even opened it and it's broken. Oh man, this is a serious bit of kit. This. So let's get some nice close-ups. So this is the wheel. Right here, this is the entire thing. Uh, it is tiny, first of all. Here's my very small gamer hand behind it. It pretty much is exactly the same size of what the wheel is. It does have eight buttons though, and I know that because it says eight here, and that's the highest number. We also have a D-pad down the bottom here, which does something, a calibration button, which I don't really know what that does at all, and some realistic gauges, as you can see here. You know, these are all real and definitely working. Now, of course, it doesn't come with pedals or anything, which means I'm gonna have to use my Schussingveld, like, high-end sim pedals <laughs> with this. <laughs> It'd be quite surreal, I think, trying to use it. Now, I've also not actually even tried to install this thing yet, obviously, because it's been in the box. So we're going to try and do that now, and I'll be back when it works, hopefully. Well, there it is. Oh, my God. It works. There's a big dead zone in the center there, but it works. Oh, OK, we're going racing. <laughs> We're going to go driving. Just before we get into testing the wheel, though, if you do enjoy this video at any point, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe. And also, some of you have mentioned seeing a Jimmy Broadbent Clips channel around. And yes, that is me. They're just clips I thought would be fun for you guys to go and watch. And there'll be a link for that channel as well down in the description. Now, I was thinking of how I could test this wheel to its full potential. And given that we recently did the uh, Daytona 24, PGST in terms of price. I thought it'd be a great place to compare because I know exactly how fast I should be going and what temperature on this setup. Realistically, the lap times we're looking for around here with this track temperature is 134 to 136. So my goal is to try and hit a 136 around there, given that this isn't my usual wheel. And there is no force feedback. There's vibration, apparently. And this car slides a bit, so that force feedback is kind of important to have. Oh, God, this is weird. 
Oh, and it really, like, I have to be careful how far I go, because it really, it really turns the wheel. So, put it in gear. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we're out. We're out in the circuit. With the wheel. Oh, it's not good. It's not good at all. <laughs> it's okay. We'll learn. Oh, my God. We'll learn. And as you can see, it goes to some crazy amount of lock as soon as you put any actual force into it. Right, okay. Oh my god. Here we go. Luckily, I still have my pedals, so I can still brake kind of well and accelerate well, but it's just the turning that's going to be the problem here. Easy. Let's go! Up to speed. Now, this kick is flat, of course, even on cold tyres. Oh, but I'm not flat. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. I'm so tense as well. Turn on the rim. Nicely. Nicely. Still better than some of the prototypes I saw in my split. Down the bottom here. First gear out of here. Turn it in. Smooth. That 36 ain't happening, by the way. Mate, we're making progress here. Look at this. I mean, obviously my wheel's doing some odd things, but it's still going round. Now, this is going to be the most challenging corner, the bus stop. Because it's a really quick change of direction on the wheel. Try and get close to the wall. Not too close. Oh, God. So I tried to make a small adjustment there and nearly crashed. Okay, let's see if we can put a lap time in, shall we? Luckily this bit's nice and easy, big straight line. Sit gear, chill out. Move it down to the bottom, and then we want to aim up to the top here. Come back down, brakes. Oh, so easy on the way in there. Try and keep the wheel straight whenever I can. It's like mouse steering almost. Okay. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. I'm having to concentrate so hard here. I'm going to have to lift. There's no way I can't not lift. No! No! I do think, though, that if I sit down and sort of... Oh, Jesus. That if I try, I should be able to put in a lap time. So I'm certainly going to take my goal back a little bit. Be a bit more realistic with my expectations because the 136 um, isn't the fastest time in the world but it's not terribly slow if i can do underneath a 140 with this i think that will be a big achievement okay where do i break how do i break what line <laughs> basically i have to take the line the wheel gives me which is this my worst lines It's so easy in the throttle because I can't correct it. If I slide, I can't correct. I'll just end up spinning. Turn, please, please, please turn. Okay. Because I'm so used to like very carefully tipping the car into a corner that when I do it on this, there isn't any steering because of that dead zone. There you go. Oh, nice. Look at that line. Stamp on it. Mate, I am so tense. <laughs> Oh my god! Ah! I made it! No! Don't get me slow down, okay, I don't care. That's gotta be under a 140. Come on! Five seconds to the line, give me that! What's up, 140? Oh, easy! 139.5! We can go quicker than that! That's not the line. So again, you, you might be wondering why I randomly dart to the left and right through there. That's me trying to adjust my line so I'm as close to the wall as possible. I haven't quite got it down yet, though. This is going to be faster, though. Right, let's try it. Okay, what's it going to be? What's it going to be? But, yeah, you know, I think a 36 might be possible, you know. If I can just get things right... 36 might actually be possible. But I've got to just be on it everywhere. I've got to be a lot better on my throttle and brakes as well. Be a bit more confident. Oh my god, I just lifted a tiny bit there, but that's that's the least I've lifted so far. Breaking a little bit early in, but it's okay. No off track so far either. Smash it onto the oval. Come on! Now the bus stop, there's going to be a lot of time there. If I can get one good run through the bus stop, I reckon the 36 is on. Yo, that wasn't bad. 
this, come on! Again, a 36 would be like sort of a slowish race lap. Maybe like a, a, a lap with traffic. We were doing sort of 34, low 34s about. Oh, 37, come on. Oh no, I had oversteer, I had oversteer, I had oversteer. <laughs> okay, so like so far, we're doing okay. A 137.7. Which is, uh, again, really, you know, a, a, a quick race lap for us. I think we would have probably got into the 33s of the car and not been damaged during the race. But, you know, to be three seconds off with a wheel that is this is not bad. I do think there is more time in it, though. I want to go and find it. But we, we've, we've got to get serious, though. We've got, if we're going to do this, we've got to get serious. Cardigan is coming off. So our goals, no incidents and a 36. We've got eight temps to find. I think we can find it, man. I think it's definitely possible. Come on, little Delara. I know you were brutalized at the weekend, but let's make up for it. That's okay. Bit slow on exit. Also, finding this car turns uh, left better than it turns right. Flat, not quite, still pushing it through there, still scared. A bit quick into there, but we're still carrying speed in. It's better than before, I think. Okay, this is not a bad lap so far. Again, bus stop is sort of the key part of it. We can keep low here as well, which is more challenging than it seems. Oh, a bit quick in the way in. No! No, it don't count! I need to know what the time would have been. Ignore that. That would have been a 36, wasn't it? 33, 34, 35, 30. Oh, it would have been a mid 36, but it doesn't count. Damn it. Here we go. Oh, that was nice. Nice and smooth. I'm not pushing it too much, as I said before. Any oversteer, I can't really correct. Oh, we're going to go flat through here. I'm not lifting. I left it. <laughs> Try to make it so when I release the steering, I point towards the corner I want to go to, so I haven't got to steer towards it. Oh my god, hold on the brakes. Somehow did not crash. Definitely slow coming onto the oval, that's going to cost us. That might have been the 36 gone. Nice! No off track. Come on. Come on! Why am I shaking? Come on. Give me that 36. Oh, it's going to be tight. I don't think it's going to be enough. I think we messed up too much at the, uh, onto the oval. 35, 36. Oh, 37, 1. Come on. Oh, slow into there, Jimmy. Come on. I've never tried so hard in my life to get a 36 at Daytona. Somehow stop the oversteer happening there. Again, don't know, we were a bit tardy through the first couple of corners. Oh, the speed on the way in. That was a good bus stop. That was actually like an okay bus stop. This has got to be it, surely. The run onto the straight. I reckon this is it. Come on. Oh my god, a 36 2! That's a. That's mad! There could even be a 35 in this. Like, hopefully, this gives you an idea of just how erratic the movement is at the front there. This is what my wheels look like. They're darting all over the place. I mean, the thing is, the lines aren't bad. What you have to do when you come out the corner is just almost, when you're releasing the steering, is just point it at where you want to try and be turning in for the next corner. You can't adjust down the straight like you would on a normal wheel because you just end up going back and forth, back and forth. And you can see there just what the wheel input actually looks like on, on screen. So we come into here. You know what? I'm going to regret this, but let's get that. Let's get that 35, man. Let's go and get it. A 35 would be a race lap from us when our car was damaged. So, if we can do that, we've we've really nailed it. I have discovered, by the way, it's a lot more sensitive to turning left than it is to turning 
right. You have to turn about another 10 degrees right to get the same that you get from turning left, if that makes sense. So, basically the steering is not linear. <laughs> right, let's go chase that 35. I believe. Not really, though. Don't bring the tyres out of yet, but that's going to be my excuse. I'm sticking to it. Concentrating so hard! It's so foreign doing this too. I mean, it's not a bad run. I don't know what it's going to be though. Probably going to be a, a 36, I think. Oh! Okay, come on. Why am I chasing a 35? A, thir a 36 is good enough, man. It's because it's so close. It's so close. That's better. That's just peak, isn't it? That's just, that's just, God! Okay, so I've, I've gone and bolted on a fresh set of tyres because I assume I'm just completely ruining the front tyres. Um, so that's going to be slowing us down a little bit. So I'm going to put on a fresh set and hope that's going to be enough to you know, give us the edge that we need. Fingers crossed. Okay, it was a tiny bit slow in the middle, but we had a good exit. The rest of that was good. Please, game! I want to stop driving at Daytona! Let me go! Please! God damn it! Are you shitting me? 12,000! I'm not giving up, man. Never give up, whatever. Man destined to stay in the 136 ones forever. Not fucking clickbait. So, guess when the car is like sliding, you have to do it visually because there's no feedback in the wheel, of course. So, trying to get the throttle down is it's a guessing game, really. Come on, it's over there. Oh, it's good, it's good. But that was okay. Come on, this has to be it. to be I don't think it is you know Point eight. Skipping the 135.9s because mama didn't fucking raise no bitch Oh, well, guys, I managed after 32 laps, which is longer than the fuel stint in the Daytona, by the way, to get down to a 135.8 on a motion wheel. Ignore that. But would I recommend this wheel to you? No. It's fun for a video, but, like, the motion doesn't really work properly. It works okay up to about 80 or 90 degrees in one direction. 
not even 90 degrees. I'd say about maybe 75 degrees in one direction. And that's not even true. On the right side, it works at 50 degrees in one direction and barely registers when you actually put in tiny amounts of, of input. So for sim racing, it really is pretty hopeless. But for arcade games, it could be a bit of fun, maybe. I don't know. The Wii controller is better. But guys, I hope you enjoyed uh, the gem bird and watching me suffer around Daytona again. I've had enough Daytona now for a year, I think. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to tap that like button, subscribe, do all the good things, of course. A massive thank you to the Patreons and to the members of the channel that make the content possible. And yeah, take care, have an awesome day. Get fucked, Daytona. See you all next time.